Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another upgrade review. Now this week's upgrade has been a long time coming because I've ordered this quite a while back, several months to be exact. This is the ZXB01A. This is the roller for War for Cybertron Earthrise. Optimus Prime. Now, you're probably wondering, didn't you just do an upgrade kit for Optimus and did he come with a rover? You are absolutely right. I did do that. I went ahead uh, because I got tired of waiting. I saw that non -F had done an upgrade kit which included a roller. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, I went ahead and got that got that, set it up, reviewed it. As you can tell from the trailer in the background, you know, he's pretty much already there. Uh, but uh, the original upgrade kits that I had gotten, or I should say that I had originally ordered from TF Safari, uh, basically had taken forever. Uh, I was hoping to get the both of them at the same time but it looks like they're coming in one piece at a time uh, so this is the first part which is roller uh, the second part which is ZXB01B the upgrade kit which is the the trailer and weapons upgrade for Optimus here uh, should be coming in soon uh, I'm going to be a little bit out of commission so uh, right now, I'm going to wait at least a couple weeks before I go ahead and head out again. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, let's go ahead and continue on. Now, as you can tell, you know this upgrade kit was uh, sent in in your typical bubble wrapped envelope with this nice little box inside. Not, nothing extraordinary, just a plain old paper uh, or cardboard box. And then we're going to just open it up. Where inside, roller is wrapped up in this bubble wrap. Now you're probably wondering, how did you know it was roller? I had opened it up. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and take them out. Take them out. You can tell he's in this nice little Ziploc bag. And there we go. And there he is. And man, that is some really good molded detail. You can tell he's got the little, you know. A little signal light in the back. It's got the little pegs in there. Now they are um, they are compatible with the uh, uh, with the effects that come with with uh, some of the uh, siege figures. So I'm not going to go ahead and try and pull those out. They're probably still in the boxes with uh, uh, with both. Uh, Skyfire or Jetfire, uh, or with uh, Scorponok. Those are the only two that I have that have those. Uh, I probably got them with the blast effects from the Battle Masters, but I'm not pulling those out. I should have pulled those out in preparation for this video. But nonetheless, there he is, and he's he's got some weight on him. He's got some really good detail. Now, when I ordered the non-F1, I wanted to get the gray, but in my own stupidity, I didn't bother with actually clicking onto the correct color. But nonetheless, I mean, this is already assembled, and you can tell just by by the by the reflection of the light, the details on this thing. And they went out and making sure that there's some color effects on here. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and lower this down just a bit. 
and we're gonna go ahead and since he's got the non-f effect here or the the non-f hitch here I'm gonna go ahead and put him on there and he will roll that is awesome man so he has the ability to to pull the trailer should Optimus have any issues and it's yeah it's not bad I like it uh, let me go ahead get him out of there and I'm gonna go ahead and oh almost forgot almost forgot there are also these two um, these two uh, laser barrels and those go on to the drones so I'm gonna go ahead open him up by extending the arms from the non F add-on pull these out pull that open Ta-da! there he is and I cannot say that that is awesome now as you can tell right off the bat the roller that originally came with uh, with this set was if you saw my last review was already was disassembled to begin with uh, I had to put it together but uh, as much as it had uh, the ability to uh, to put like some Titan Masters in there which is really cool I like that the one drawback was that it just is too big and we're gonna do a little size comparison between these two and, oops there we go as you can tell they do have a variance in size but despite that fact they do have does have the ability to to fit in there a little bit better and it won't take up so much space which is pretty cool I like it uh, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys here and out of camera, I'm going to take them out of their plastic sleeve. And we're going to go ahead, move that roller out of the way, put this one right here, and put this, take these off. And there we go. I just got to twist these out just a bit. Despite the air conditioner being on, the, this lamp is hot as a mofo. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these. I'm gonna slide them into into those slots here. Ooh, wow! Oh, wow, man, that is. That is really tight. All right, so as you can tell right there, I'm gonna take Roller out, I'm gonna bring him just a little closer, pull up the camera just a bit. And as you can tell, they stick out very, 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 very long. Uh, they stick out a lot. I, I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and keep those on there, honestly. Um, so you can tell, you know, throughout the throughout the course of having this figure, I have done one type of modification after another. Um, I wound up doing some actual paint application on the gray plastic of this drone, uh, with the exception of the arms. Then the next thing I did was the uh, was the repo label set from Toy Hacks which as you can tell that that just makes it pop a lot uh, then the uh, non-f add-on set which included the uh, 
you know, this uh, antenna here, which as part uh, in preparation of of the upcoming set from uh, that's coming in from TF Safari, I'm going to remove pretty much probably about uh, the the extra arms. I know I'm going to take these off. Uh, one of the things that just really worries me is that if I stick them in there, I will not be able to get them out. So I'm going to take those out now. Oof, God. Yeah, that. There we go. And I'm going to put these other ones on there. So I'll just slide those in. Bop. And slide those in. There we go, right there. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll just leave them like that. There we go. Um, but, um, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on. There. Much better. So as you can tell, that will, that is, that is a very, very good replacement, I would have to say. Not to mention, like I said before, it seems to be more in scale with, with this trailer than the one from Nonf. I'm sorry, Nonf. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is a good rendition of Roller uh, that you all did. Um, very very pleased with it. I think I had lost the uh, uh, the red uh, signal that I was supposed to put on either side of here. So, damn it. Uh, one drawback was that the wheels on this roller just do not turn, but this one does very nicely too. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the. Uh, you know, the ZXB01A roller uh, for this Optimus here. Uh, now, in terms of the other add-on kit, what, from what I understand, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to provide some fillers for the back over here, which what I will more than likely do is, you know, paint, before I put those on, paint them so that way they match up with the, uh, with the drone back here. Uh, in addition, there's supposed to be a type of uh, launcher here that you put in there and then you just plug in the roller. Now, the thing about it is that plug, that that launcher uh, does not have any type of spring-loaded mechanism, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so that is that is all well and good. Uh, before we do anything more, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. There we go. Close that up. There. And now. Okay, so go ahead and close this up. Well, so close this, close this. There we go. So, in addition to that plunger, there's also supposed to be a new, uh, the new struts here. They go on the side. Uh, thing about those is that these little foot poles are supposed to uh, are you are able to pull those down as well and push them up uh, when they're hidden like this. In addition, these side panels are going to be totally different. They're going to be uh, gray or black. I think it's gray. Uh, the thing about it is that. Uh, you'll more than likely have to unhook those 
or unhook this whole assembly and then just snap those in there uh, and then from there because as far as I'm aware you know you just screw that in there and boom you're back in now you know and then of course I'm gonna keep this on here because honestly I really like this I'm hoping honestly I am hoping that I'm able to still keep this on here because I'm just trying to remember that but it is what it is but uh, there he is folks I mean I'm not I am not complaining I granted it was a long time coming and uh, I'm, I don't know what else to say in this case so give me a moment to take a few photos and I will be right back Alright folks, there they are, transformed in vehicle mode, and as you can tell, Roller is carrying the load himself. What an admirable little Autobot. Anyway, um, it's not a bad add-on in this case. Uh, it's more, uh, more in scale for the trailer than the non-F one was. Um, not, no... No disrespect on what Non-F attempted to do. I liked uh, the uh, the roller that uh, that they sent in with that, but this uh, this one does feel like it will fit the trailer a little bit more than the, the other version. Not to mention it does roll, and that's the one thing that uh, you know that uh, a lot of us that had the Non-F set. Uh, had some complaints about uh, is basically getting those wheels to roll you have to go ahead and dig out enough to where it allows the wheels to fit in there snap in but also roll so I'm sorry not if uh, you guys always put out some really great stuff uh, but I have to give I have to give it to this one uh, for the roller uh, now in terms of the other parts of the add-on kit we will have to wait and see uh, there are certain aspects of that the uh, the emitters or the cannons that fit in on the drone uh, they're a little bit too long not to mention I'm afraid uh, that if I put them in there too deep they're not gonna come out and then that's that'll be it I'll be stuck with those at least with the non-F ones, it allows you to at least pull those out, you know, twist them off, you know, you're good to go. Um, not to mention, you can push them all the way in, you can pull them out just a little bit to have the emitter, uh, or the, uh, you know, the, uh, the emitter rods to come out. So, on a scale of 1 through 10, uh, 10 being the highest, 9 being it ain't worth your damn time. I have to say, I'm going to have to give this one a 9. It is a great little, uh, a great little uh, roller unit. <clears throat> uh, you know, again, you know, a lot of good details. Uh, its ability to roll is what won me right there when I got it. Uh, when I originally ordered it, you know, you know that was a few months ago and that's that was something that would have taken off a lot because of the wait and time I know there's I know there's a lot going on out there and everything uh, so for those that are still waiting on this be patient uh, and that's and that's a lot coming from me because I am the worst when it comes to patience uh, so 
Um, basically, this little <laughs> this little uh, roller unit is lucky to even gotten a nine. <laughs> I would have given him a seven just because of the amount of time it took. Uh, so we'll see what the other one has. Um, based off of based off of what uh, what I've gotten so far through Don F, like I said, I you know I'm I'm pleased with it, but I want to see what this other set has, and then basically just play a game of mix and match in this case. Certain components will stay on here, others will be removed in in uh, in favor of its new components. So we will see on this. So uh, it, have you gotten this portion of that add-on kit? You know, if you have, great, tell me about it. Uh, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you fucking hate it? Um, Leave me, uh, leave me your, your your comments in the comments section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel here. Uh, every every subscription helps. Now I said this a while back. I'm hoping to have at least I want to at least have a hundred subscribers by the end of October. Uh, and I'm gonna try and see what I can do as a reward for that now throughout the month I've throughout this month I've been looking for people to send me suggestions on what I should do you know as a thank you so if you have any suggestions once again leave them in the comments section down below if you want to if you want to contribute to the channel, uh, there are I do have a PO box. the The addresses are listed in the description down below. So this is um, this is a ZXB zero one A roller, the up the upgrade roller for Earthrise Optimus Prime. And this is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.